Hi, welcome to Simply Chalk Design. My name is Mai Bella, your independent chalk couture designer. As I'm getting everything ready for a chalking project, here are some things you can help me with. As soon as you come in, please share. Win some awesome merch just by sharing, liking, following, subscribing, and commenting. After you share, comment hashtag confetti. Also, comment with where you are watching from. Also, please like and follow if you are watching from Facebook. If you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my chalking videos. If you're watching live, please comment hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay. If you are new to my page or my channel, please comment hashtag pickle. I would love to welcome you to Chalk Couture. I would also love to be your designer. If you are already a designer, welcome. Please slam on the hearts and I thank you for watching. Chalk Couture is a fun, high-end home decor company specializing in reusable silk screen transfers and creamy, dreamy chalkology paste and ink. With so many designs to choose from to create your own fabulous designs. Please sign up for the awesome monthly club couture subscription. For only $19.99 per month with a three month commitment, you will receive an exclusive eight and a half by 11 reusable silk screen transfer with three Tacology paste packets. It is so much fun to get it delivered to you each month. Monthly reusable silk screen transfer is an exclusive Club Couture and for designers only. If on the fifth of every month you will be billed for the club and then your mystery silk screen transfer will be prepared and shipped to you. You can join the club or shop at my website www.simplychalkdesign.com. Also, you can join my Chalk Boss team and become a designer. You can make extra money each month, get awesome discounts, earn incentives and trips. Start your own business in a box and make extra money each month. All you have to do is join my team. For only $99 in the US and $135 in Canada, you will receive everything you need to start your own creative empire and chalk design business. The designer kit is valued at over $240 in the US and over $350 in Canada. Your kit will consist of Chalk Couture catalog, your Chalk Couture apron, seven reusable silkscreen transfers, five of our creamy, dreamy Chalkology paste jars, one Gallery Aiden porcelain frame, nine by 12, one boutique board and base, five by seven, one package of 12 chalkable chips, a package of thank you cards, and your Chalk Tour Read Me info. If you would like more information, please message me or comment down below. I would love to have you on my team. Now, let's get chalking. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, are y'all ready to do the carrots? Oh my gosh, you guys, hold on. This phone up here, my camera up here, says low battery. So let's hope that's working. It's connected. Hold on, let me swap plugs here. Hopefully I don't hang up on you. Hopefully, hopefully. It uses a lot of juice, you guys, when we're recording. So, even though it's plugged in, it uses a lot of juice. Okay, so let's do our carrots. So, remember Sunday I showed you we made these bunnies? And I told you to go online to the free downloadable, what do you call it? bunny patterns that they have all over the internet right now um so look i just made 
on a cardboard, made hearts. And here's my bunny pattern. That's this one right here. And then see the little sweet bows we just did? Those are the little bows in different colors. That's like a antique white color, a light pink, ballet sleeper pink, and then a, a stronger pink color. Look, you guys, I have all these tags to paint for the workshop. Because y'all get lots of goodies at the workshop. Okay, so we did those bunnies. I showed y'all this carrot. But today we're going to do this carrot. Remember these carrots? I use scrap fabric, you guys. I am a quilter as well. I do have some fabric at my store for sale, quilter's fabric. It's hot in here, you guys. I didn't turn up. No, I do have the air on. It's just not low enough. Take a sip. Okay. So y'all can watch the replay if you got to go. Or you're going to go get your fabric is what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so this is like a six. For this one, I used, I don't know if y'all have heard of charm packs. Charm packs are five by five inch squares of fabric. And it's like a stack of fabric that you buy at quilt stores and things like that. So for these, I used five by five charm packs. We used, this was a big, huge leaf, I told y'all. And then I just cut the leaf into little slits. And then I gave it a little trim. This looks like basil to me. So that I stuck that up there. And this is the same kind of leaf that I showed you a little while ago. So anyway, all you need is scrap fabric, some um, bat, no, what do you call it? Batting? What do you call it? That fiber fill stuffing stuff. <laughs> and I use some jute twine and the hot glue gun. So let's get ready here. Then I have to wash transfers. Who's going to come help me wash? Okay, so it doesn't have to be ironed. Usually when you quilt, you have to iron everything. It doesn't have to be. Some, I've seen some people do these and they leave, leave this edge raw. And I don't like to do that. I like to make it look like it's finished. I should have sewn these, but just, you know, it's just a quick, cute little decoration. And you don't have to sell them really expensive. I sell three in a bunch. And see, there are different colors. It can be for spring, even up to the fall, because people are always harvesting carrots. But it's mainly for Easter and the spring. So this fabric, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a spot there, but you can't tell. It's just orange. So this is what I do, you guys. I have the rectangle, like lengthwise, of course. And then you're going to make a cone. Right? Can you all see that? You're going to make a cone. When you make that cone, what I like to do, just so the stuffing doesn't come out, I like to put a little bit of hot glue right here at the tip. And right here is where you should work with a silicone finger helper. Any Anything you have that silicone so you don't burn yourself, okay? Fold it over to make a triangle right there and hold it down because some of our hot glue guns are super, super hot. Hello. You just show as Facebook user. It does not show me who you are. So whoever commented me, um, comment your name and where you're watching from and an emoji to make sure I see it. Okay. So then this side, you guys, that side's already glued. This side, I just finger press. And finger press is where you just fold it over, run your finger through it, or over it like burnishing. Welcome. Don't forget to share. And then come back and do hashtag confetti.
Okay, so I I fold that down and I give it a finger press. That's what you call it, like a fake iron, right? Then I'm going to hot glue that and bring it over just like that. You can bring it over as far as you want. If you want a fat carrot, you bring it over less. If you want a skip, you know, medium carrot, a skinny carrot, and so forth. So let's glue this and remember use your protectors for your fingers guys so you don't burn your subtle carrots so i like to do a little bit at a time like i'll do half bring it over and then i like to use my helper here my finger and right away it glues it down then do the rest don't do it on this side because you don't know where it's going to land do it on the edge not too close to the edge because you don't want that glue to come out and then press it into submission here so you see there you have the little cone let it dry a little bit Hi, Miss Leanne. See, it just shows me. I wish y'all could see. Maybe you all can. It just shows me as Facebook user. <laughs> and now I see that it's your name and your kisses all over the place. You guys, there is Leanne. She's the one that wanted to get together. And we're going to do a chalk and sip. She's um, on my team. So let me know if y'all want to come over Friday, March 5th, 6 p.m. Taking forever. Hold on. I'm going to show you okay right now it does not even show that you're on there yet see how my wackadoodle look it doesn't even show it yet what am I doing look I'm still folding the carrot it is so delayed and so weird, you guys. I think Facebook is doing this because I think eventually they're going to start charging us because there's too many creators making oodles of money doing their lives. Oh, look, you guys, I glued it together. See, I used a little bit too much glue, but it's okay. Just get it apart. It was just the top edge. So then it makes a little cone like this. Okay. And then we start stuffing. It's polyfill, what I like to use. But you can use whatever, you guys. You can use whatever. Um, on these, some of these little carrots, I used leftover batting. Uh, that I use for my quilts, the backing. So just use a little bit at a time because then it gets lumpy and bumpy. Use something like a chopstick to poke it all the way down to your little corner. If you want, you can have, have a little wilty carrot. Sorry, you guys, I got off camera there. So now I'm all excited because I haven't had a workshop since, was it Thanksgiving, like around Thanksgiving, November, December, I don't remember. I think it was November, the beginning of December when we did the lanterns. Okay, so fill it up as much as you want, but not too much because then it's hard to work with you guys. Okay, so there's our carrot. We'll make another one if you want. Y'all want to stay on. 
Then what I do is I'm going to fold this corner down. Can y'all see that? I'm going to fold this corner down and glue that down. So I put a little bit of glue at the tip right there. I don't like to cut any of this fabric. Some, you know, you might want to cut it. I don't know. So I just put that corner down and I glue it. We have all this crazy edge. So if you want to cut it, that's fine. I like to leave it because I think it looks, you know, whimsical. So after you do that, I found this that looks like fern. You can use whatever, you guys. Remember, if you have a big leaf, like let me get this one. Got some little potted plants here. See, if you have leaves that are this big, all you have to do is cut slits in it and then trim it as high or as low as you want. You know, sometimes the leaves fall off flowers. I keep them and then, you know, someday, somehow I work it into whatever. Like, let's say this one. See, this one is a lot smaller than what I put on these little carrots. But I cut slits into it and then just trimmed it up like that. So work with what you have. Don't go out and buy anything. Unless you absolutely have to. That way you have more money to buy transfers and chalk paste. So then we're going to trim a little bit of this off. Oh my God, it's got a wire. Hold on. There we go. So we'll trim that off. And then this little pointy end, you can take these off if you want. But I don't like to take anything off. If it just looks bunched, it can be bunched. So right there where you added the glue on that corner, add a little dollop of glue there. And then I put this right there. And make sure you turn it away. See, this is the back side of the leaf. And this is the front side of the leaf. Make sure you put the front side of the leaf away from your seam. This is where we glued it. Because that's like the back side of the carrot, right? After you do that, get yourself some twine, some ribbon, whatever you want to get. And you're going to stuff this down. And you're going to tie it right here at the shortest area. So you're going to crunch it all up. Get your twine. And then tie it. It's so simple, you guys. It's just so cute. See, and I left the tail out. You don't want that. Make sure you get that in. So before you make a square knot and tie it really tight, make sure none of the fabric slipped out. So I need to tuck it in, crunch it up, and let's try tying it again. And your carrot does not have to be orange. Especially if you have a color theme going on at home or you know your friend that likes um, stuff like this. Just trim it a little bit. And then let's put a button there, okay? You could put a cotton tail. But I like to save all my Mother of Pearl buttons, you guys. I love Mother of Pearl buttons. And if I had more time, I would put a little crisscross of uh, pearl cotton there so it doesn't look unfinished, right? So you just put a little dollop of glue there. And you don't have to do the button. You can leave it like that or add the button. So there's your carrot. Isn't that not cute? And then when you put it in a little wooden crate with all your other carrots you had made, they look so cute. Is that not cute? 
who said hey hey welcome welcome facebook is not showing me who is saying anything so you need to put your name first and then do an emoji because facebook is being ridiculous again with me see i want to do another carrot and if you do thumbs up or hearts i won't even see those till i watch the replay <laughs> is that not crazy so do y'all want to watch me do another carrot if y'all do which fabric do you want me to do i have this one that's a funky pink that one this one's a fall fabric this one is called a uh, moda marble fabric that's like modeled fabric and then there's a country bumpkin check what do y'all think so i'm not trying to be rude or anything but facebook is not showing me look and then on my phone it has not moved from my comments at all let me try and get out and come back in so when y'all type in please put your name first and then your comment and then an emoji sorry guys that's the only way i can tell who's saying check somebody said check my mystery person here said check yeah but it still doesn't show the comments i can see it just says facebook user look let me take a picture of you hold on Let me show you what it shows me. It's crazy. Can y'all see that? Look, it shows Facebook user. Who is it? I don't know. Can y'all see? It's crazy. Leanne, check. See? That I can read. But it still says Facebook user. Okay, the little check. I like the little check. So I don't know if we'll have time to do stuff like this, Leanne, at our workshop. Or if the ladies would like it. So let's kind of whack off a like six by seven. You can do a square, but I think a... a a, what do you call it? A rectangle works better. Let's do that. Okay, let, what do y'all think that is? Should I measure? Let's measure to see how much I whacked off. And this is my crazy ruler. Okay, hold on. This one is a five and a half almost by eight, five and a half by eight. So remember just turn it in a little bit, tiny bit of glue just to close that corner. So use your tool so you don't burn yourself. Who said they're now just jumping in? Welcome, welcome. I can't see your name, so I'm sorry. So after we do that and it dries a little bit, fold this corner down this edge. Fold that down and give it a finger press. Just the edge. Or you can leave it raw. It's up to you. But I like to... I would like for people to find that turned edge. We're going to come over here and close it up, okay? So you can do a little bit of glue at a time and use your tool so you don't burn yourself. And don't use too much glue because then you'll glue it together like I just did. And 
and in there you are going to have like a flap of fabric that is you can cut it off or leave it i just leave it in there it's part of the stuffing so then let's glue the rest That's what happened, you guys. Look, if you put glue all the way to the edge and then if you put glue all the way to the edge and then put it down, well, you're going to glue it shut. And that's what I did earlier. Leanne says she sews with hot glue. Yep, nobody has to know. <laughs> but they're so cute. When you make a whole bunch of them, you guys, in a little crate... A little wooden crate or a little basket they are adorable okay that's about dry so make sure you didn't glue, glue it shut and look it makes like a cone and before we add the cotton let's turn this flap down okay so i'm going to put glue at the edge of this you can cut it off like i said but i i, I just like to leave it it's part of the stuffing once again. Okay, now let's stuff it. Once you get some in there, use a chop stick or something to push it all the way down. Don't push it too much because you're going to tear it open. Tear your seam open. <laughs> so just depending on your square, don't tell me what size I used for whatever because like I said, Usually I just cut a random piece, but I know these little ones were five by five inch squares. Everything else I make, it's just, I just whack off a piece. Okay. So then get your greenery. Look, I'm going to show you with this one. It's not going to be as fluffy up on top, but I'm going to show you what to do when you have just this if you just have this and it's i don't think i'm going to use it because the carrot's too big but anyway all i do is cut into it so it can look like a the green top off of a carrot cut the other side especially when you're crafting you know in the middle of the night or you don't want to go to the store or you run out of, maybe you did have a bunch of greenery that you were using and you run out of it. So let me show you what it's going to look like. So after you crunch it all up, it's going to look still like a carrot leaf. Hello, Miss Ophi. How are you? Welcome, welcome. We're making carrots. Hi, Miss Rita. See, now it's showing me the people's names. No, it showed me Rita. That is so weird, you guys. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, Azofi. So, okay, we're going to get a piece of twine again. Like I said, you could use ribbon. But I like the way it looks with twine. But you can use whatever you want. And because this carrot is a bigger carrot, I am going to use a bigger part of greenery and if you buy something like a bunch of this you know um like when it's 40 percent off you know they're getting rid 50 percent off they're getting rid of that coupon you guys um your favorite store that starts with an h and then an l i think the 28th is the last day of the coupon so now we're gonna have to wait for whenever it's on sale right Okay, so I like to glue it in there and make sure you turn your greenery. This is the back side of the greenery. This is the front side. 
make sure you turn the back to where your seam is just so you try and hide the seam a little bit and your carrot will look cuter right don't burn yourself let it sit there for a little bit hello miss rita it showed me your name and now it's not showing me your name but thank you guys. If you comment, yes, put your name in front of it. And if I don't see it, put an emoji on there. It's just Facebook. So after it dries a little bit, you can fold this down or fold it out, whatever you want to do. But you, you try and hide this by bringing it over. Can y'all see? You try and hide that opening by bringing it over. Crunch it. Can you all see? I'm trying to hide that opening. So you just bring it over, crunch it together, and wrap your twine. I lost the grip. Hold on. Crunch it together. I like to wrap it two times. Make sure I've got it in there. Tie it. Do some tucking, some finagling. You can leave those long if you want. You can cut them short if you want. And instead of a... Instead of a button, let's put a little bow there, okay? Let me show you the bow. Maybe y'all can see it better with this. So make sure you have a tail hanging over your ring finger and your pinky. And we're going to work with these two fingers. So you're going to do a figure eight. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. And then you cut your piece of ribbon. This one I always leave a little bit longer. Because this one is going to go down to finish that figure eight, up and over, in between your fingers. And then see this loop we just put in between the fingers? That's where the tail is going to go under. These are sweet little bows for little girls, little bears, anything you make, you guys. Trim, make the corner there. Take them off your fingers if you can. I did it kind of tight. The more you open the fingers like that, the bigger the ribbon's going to be. But look, there's a little double ribbon, double little bow. Trim the tails. And now let's put it on here. Carefully not to burn yourself. It doesn't have where to share. Yeah, I think that's put you in just for mentioning it. So do hashtag confetti, Rita. Did you do anything with the last win? The extra little goodies I put in there. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this a little bit because now they're sticking out. That's the raffia. I mean, the uh, twine. So look, there's another carrot. There's a carrot we just did with a button. And then these are the three little carrots I made the other day. Are they not cute? So, I don't have a little uh, cart, so we're a uh, little crate, so we're going to use this one. So see you guys if you see me. basket a little what do you call it wooden crate look 
it's just a bunch of apples. I mean, apples, <laughs> a bunch of carrots. They look so cute. Or you can put them here and there, you know. So cute. So cute. The more you make, the cuter they get, you guys, because it's just a whole bushel of carrots, not apples, carrots. So that is it for tonight. Does anybody have any questions? Don't forget, if y'all join the Club Couture, Chalk Couture gives you 15% off next month. If you join in February, I will send you this. This happens no matter what. I will send you a um, board eraser. I will send you a uh, tray to mix your paste if you need to. Now I'm sending three of these little containers so you can put your excess paste in there because you're not going to use it all. I'll send you a little stir stick and I'll send you a squeegee. But everybody that joins in February, you guys, and I get my goal, I need eight more people, eight more people. It's only $19.99 a month. You get billed the fifth of every month. You can cancel at any time. It's lots of fun. It's a, um, you will get, which is this transfer we did on Sunday. You will get a transfer and three chalk paste packets like this. Plus what I give you. Plus 15% off next month from Chalk Couture. Plus, if I get my goal, you guys, of 20 club members that join in February, there is a $50 shopping spree plus other goodies I'm going to send the winner. So really consider that all of you people that were designers also, and you're not designers anymore, and you still want to play with Chalk Couture, it's so inexpensive, you guys. That's how much they charge us for our website. $19.99 and we don't get the three chalk paste samples but it's only $19.99 no shipping no taxes just $19.99 build on the fifth and they send you that pleasant surprise every month and only designers and only club members get that transfer so it's lots of fun it's lots of fun and you know I come on here that Sunday with my little cat ears and I show you what I do with it just so you get a different idea. Usually I try and do a little bit different than when Chalk Couture shows you the example, just so y'all can put your thinking caps on and create your own beautiful design. So that is it. Does anybody have a question? I printed out my bunny pattern, but I think he's too skinny. Whoa, feed him, feed him. I'm going to have to make him a little fatter. Yep, you can make him a little, little fatter. You can make him a little skinnier. Remember this one, you guys? Where is he? The one that my daughter didn't like. What did I do with it? Oh, he's right here. No. I don't know what I did with it. I was going to take it apart. But see, Rita, whatever pattern you got, I think it's Rita. I don't know who it is. But see, let's say it's this pattern how I changed my patterns without downloading anything else, fold it in half and then just put it on your paper and trace it bigger, like a quarter of an inch, half an inch away, and then just trace it bigger. And then when you open it up like a heart, you get your little design. Remember, this is the one that my daughter didn't like, but I don't know what I did with it. Where is it? My goodness, I was going to take it apart and put, make it a little face, you know, put two little eyes, put um, the little heart nose. Look, I need to find it so I can do it. It's Mary. Hi, Miss Mary. So I was going to put two little black eyes. I think I took it inside so I could do it in my bedroom. But anyway, two little eyes. Then a little pink heart nose. Because I put the cotton tail here and she goes, Mom, that's a little weird. Of course, it'd be lower, but just so y'all could see. Two little eyes, a little pink nose, and then a little bow up here. So those would be cute. 
See, and the same thing with this one. I got it off the internet, and you can make it as big as you want, and we can make little pillows. But this one, the same thing. Just fold it in half. And that's easier to draw. It kind of looks like a funky butterfly. See? Fold it in half, draw it bigger, cut it out, and then you just open it up. No, it doesn't show me who's commenting. Is that Mary? Mary, have you been having a lot of problems with Facebook? I have. And then if it's not Facebook, it's YouTube. If it's not YouTube, it's my platform. It's crazy. <coughs> I think they're going to get to the point where they're going to charge us so we don't have problems because they can make a whole lot more money if they charge everybody that goes live. Can you imagine? So, no, let me show you what it shows me. Because you do lots of lives. I wonder if, you know, you have the same problem, too. And I, like, uh, Sunday, I went live without my, the platform, and it still did it. Let me show you my comments. at all and the YouTube I haven't been in a little while and it shows me eyeballs for the YouTube but anyway I mean, just make sure I can see your name for the end of the month drawing for participating and then if you get to share if you have the share button um Make sure you do hashtag confetti with your name to put you in the drawing for this if we get to 20 um, shares. Okay, you guys, I think that's all for tonight. You don't have many problems, huh? Oh, no. Yep, they need you there to tell them what to do, and then they don't like for you to tell them what to do. And then hand me the wrench, hand me the screwdriver, hand me the whatever. You know, and then they send you what my dad used to do it to my mom all the time. It was hilarious. And of course, everything was echando madres, right? <laughs> Pissing the whole time. But they loved each other. They just couldn't work together. Anyway. My dad would sit down like, a, you know, to do some plumbing or whatever. And he would sit down like on a little stool or something, right, to work. And he'd be sitting down. He goes, honey, bring me the pliers. So honey would go bring the pliers. And she'd get back, honey, I need the whatever tape. And honey would go get the tape. And then my mom would get tired. Can you just, before you sit down to do a job, get a bucket and get all the tools you need. Or tell me everything you need because I ain't walking back and forth anymore. You're on your own. And she would leave all mad. <gasps> oh, my God. And, like, the whole neighborhood knew <laughs> that my mom and dad were working on a project, on a honeydew whatever. So funny. <gasps> oh, my God. And it was like they would each other mothers, you know, back and forth. And we're like, guys, stop it. Oh my goodness, what are people going to say? Pues que vengan a ayudar, you know, for them to come help if they don't want to hear us arguing. Hilarious. Hilarious. But they would get the job done. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope you get your plumbing problems fixed. We didn't have any plumbing problems, thank God. But it took a while to thaw out and just, oh my God, it was crazy, crazy. I don't know how. Our people up north do it. I really don't. Okay, guys. Anybody have any questions? Anybody want to join Club Couture? Anybody?
but you want to join the team, if you're local, remember March 5th at 6 o'clock at the store, we're going to have our workshop, our first workshop for the year. I need to call Analia and see what she says. See if she wants to join. Anywho, y'all have a good night. If I didn't see your comments and your messages, I am so sorry. I mean, your comments, message me if you need anything. If you have any questions, I'm here to help. And if you can come, we'll be six feet apart. We have sip, chalk and sip, um, all kinds of refreshments. No food, uh, but I'll provide the refreshments and the wine. Um, and come have a good time with us, okay? Leanne on my team is going to co-host this with me. So we're all excited. We haven't seen each other in a long, long time. And she's a sweet young girl that I told y'all to keep her in her prayers. She has been, she's recovered from COVID, but her husband's been very, very ill. So just send her prayers over to Leanne and keep her in your thoughts. Okay, you guys? So we'll see you Thursday at 8.30 if Facebook lets me or YouTube or my platform. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. Bye.